everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here, Skedger, uh, with a little Q&A Sunday video. Thank you to everybody for sending questions in once again. Uh, I do appreciate it. So let's just get this right underway and answer you guys' questions that you've sent in. Oh, and by the way, I've got some toothpaste on my face for this entire video. That's because I've got a monster spot which I'm trying to dry up for work tomorrow morning. So, and I don't really care. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Thanks for watching in advance. George Wright asks if Big David is still here. Big David? Big David is still here next this time next year. What is regarded as an, as an acceptable season? Now, he probably will still be here next year. He'll probably be given a fair bit of money in the summer to invest, whether you agree with that or not. And, um... I'd say an acceptable season would be challenging for the freaking title now. We spent God knows how much on Fellaini and Mata. Uh, we've got more money to spend in the summer. Surely we can bring in some class players. So, you know, an acceptable season would be top three. But ideally, we want to be challenging for that freaking title, man, and picking up some silverware. That would be an acceptable season. Oh, yeah. John Jackson asks, If you could say one thing to Bebe, one piece of advice maybe, what would it be? Um, nice question, John. It'd probably be, Sort your fucking life out, Bebs. What's your issue, mate? You come here for how much? Six million quid, something in the region of that? And what have you done? Absolutely nothing, mate. You haven't even got close to coming to the first team. Why? Probably because you're an absolutely terrible average shite player, mate. Jog on back to Portugal. That's probably what I'd say to him. That would be my advice. Thanks for the question. Fergus Hunter Spokes asks, what Winter Olympic event would you like to have won gold in? I'd have to go for the bobsled. I love a bit of bobsled just from Cool Runnings. Some people they say they can't believe Mr. Flying Pig is in the bobsled team here. Yeah. yeah. Probably bobsled. Darkstar8473 asks no love for cricket. Nah. I ain't got much love for cricket to be honest with you. Fair play to whoever who likes cricket and plays cricket. I used to like playing it at school but to watch man those things go on for days and they're just boring mate. Nah I can't be doing it with cricket mate. Sorry. Nah. Fergus Hunter Spokes asks, Your girlfriend has just admitted adultery with a current United player. Which one would least and which would most annoy you? Right, good question. Now, that is a messed up uh, question, really, because I don't want to think about my girlfriend, uh, you know, being penetrated by a United player. But probably Michael Carrick. He'd probably be the least one that I'd be annoyed by. He'd probably treat her like a real gent. Yeah, nice one, Mike. So probably Michael Carrick. Uh, least most, I don't know, maybe like Rio Ferdinand or something, because he'd probably tear that ass up. Burhan Albeast asks, what would be your ideal formation for the current team? And realistically speaking, who do you think we can get this summer? Ideal formation, I think, is the one we played yesterday against Crystal Palace. You know, the 4-2-3-1 penetration formation. That's what I like to call it. RVP spearheading it. You've got Janazai there. You've got Rooney there. You've got Mata there. You've got freaking Fellaini and Carrick in behind. You know, you've got the, the, the back four. It's a penetrative formation. You know, you've got to make the most of what you've got. And that formation certainly suits our team. Not this 4 4 fucking 2 nonsense at the moment. No. So I'd probably say that is our best formation currently. But that could change depending on who we sign. Marcus J asks, would you do a disgusting forfeit if United won the Champions League or finish fourth this season, such as drinking your own urine? Well, that's a perfectly standard question, I suppose. No, uh, no, I not for finishing fourth. We should be finishing freaking fourth anyway. I'll tell you what, if Man United win the Champions League this season, I will set fire to this hat and I will eat the ashes, mate. Okay? Okay, that's insane. No, that's the... Why would I want to do that? That's disgusting. I'm not thinking this one through. But anyway, that's my forfeit. I'm happy to do that if United win the Champions League, to be honest with you. So yeah, nice one, Marcus. MJ Gare asks, Do you think we should be trying to get Gary Neville on the coaching team? Replace his brother? I think it's a must. Well, do you know what, MJ Gare? I'm going to have to agree with you, mate. Jog on, Phil. What are you doing out there, son? Teaching him how to get five out of ten bloody performance week in, week out. Jog on, son. Bring your brother in. At least he was a decent freaking player. I hope that answers your question. Callum M asks, are you going to do videos during the World Cup and what team do you personally dislike the most besides Liverpool? Everyone hates them. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, I definitely will be doing videos during the World Cup for like key incidents and also for just England game reviews and maybe some previews and stuff. But we'll be hitting it pretty hard on the old World Cup front. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see out there, guys, if you'd like to see any specific videos. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and which team do I hate the most? Well, it's got to be Manchester City. Absolute scum. You know, not only the, are they just our local rivals and we've always had bitter history with them over the years, but then some bloody Arab millionaire goes in and buys 
shitload of players for them, spent over a billion pounds pretty much, and now, now they're one of the strongest teams in the league. And that pisses me off. I don't like to see that. You know, we've earned our status over the years. Man City just come in, somebody spends a shitload of money, and they, they are where they are. Well, I don't think that's right. Tumas Kivioja asks, Q&A, would you rather A, have sex with a goat and nobody knew about it, or B, not have sex with a goat, but everybody thought you had sex with a goat? Oh, man, that is a messed up question. I don't really know how to answer that. Uh, I definitely don't want to have sex with a goat. That's all I know. I definitely do not want people to think that I had sex with a goat when I didn't even have sex with a goat, man. Oh, I'd have to bang a goat. you got to bang a goat. You know, you can't have people thinking that you banged a goat. But then you actually did bang goats, so you are a goat banger. Oh, man. I don't know how to answer that question. I just don't want to bang any goats, okay? No goats, okay? I'm glad we cleared that one up. Thanks for the question, Tumas. Coolhand88 asks, Mr. Flying Pig HD, after Cruz's performance against the Gooners, do you see any chance of him signing for us in the summer? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Who, what do you think? Who would you like to see? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, nice one. Cheers for the question, Coolhand. Um... I'd say yes, I would like to see him sign for us in the summer. Can I see it happening? Yeah, I can see it happening. It could happen, you know, if, we, if we're willing to go there, pay the cash, pay the money for the player. Anything's possible, you know what I mean? It could happen. Um, I, I don't think it will happen, but it could happen. It might happen. It would be good if it did happen. That's what we should be trying to make happen. Come on, United. Come on, boys. Come on, Woodward. Get your fucking fingers out, mate. Why can't you announce a sign it before the fucking summer? Cheers. The Freshy Immigration Town or something asks... What? Immigration. I don't know. Ask, would you kiss David Moyes or have a full-on fight with former United player Stan? Well, that's a good question, but it's an easy one to answer. Because I'd rather get the freaking shit kicked out of me by Yap Stan than kiss go anywhere near the ginger goblin's lips, man. Nah. Ain't happening, son. Nah. Michael... Piszczynski, Piszczynski, if it's like piss check, I'm guessing it is Piszczynski. Michal Piszczynski asks, Rooney and Van Persie or Suarez and Sturridge purely on ability? If I'm going purely on ability, it's got to be Rooney and Van Persie. It's a duo. Uh, to me, it's stronger than Suarez and Sturridge. This season, Suarez and Sturridge easily get the best strike force in the Premier League, in my opinion. But if you're just going on ability, you know... Um, I think Rooney and RVP as a duo, both playing at the best, are just as good as, if not, no, they're better than Suarez and Sturridge. Plus, they're not an absolute twat. So that helps. Well, depending on your viewpoint, I suppose. Opposition player you secretly admire, and that's asked by Ryan Lewis. Ryan, I would have to say the opposition player I admire the most is... Oh, man, I can't really... Probably Frankie Lampard. I'm sorry, but Frank Lampard over the years, I just thought, what a great goal-scoring midfielder. Steps up for the team every time. Um, you know, he secretly, I've always liked Frank Lampard. All of other Chelsea players, I can't freaking stand. John Terry, Ashley Cole, Didier Drogba over the years. Now, now, mate, they're all scum. But Frank Lampard, top quality bloke, mate. Got to love a bit of Frankie Lamp's action. Currently, at the moment, I'd say, I don't know, I hate Suarez, but he's a great player. I don't admire him, though, now. Um, Sturridge. I like Sturridge, actually. Sturridge is a top quality player. Don't know why Chelsea wouldn't get rid of that guy. He was class. Class player. Will be class. Like his attitude, like his weird dance thing that he does as well. I can't do it, but you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, thanks for the question. Sam AB asks, would you sell your hat for a hundred bucks? Now, I'm, firstly, I'm not American, so let's talk in pounds here, man. Okay. But anyway, no, hundred bucks, fair play. Uh, yeah, I would sell my hat for a hundred bucks. It cost me like 10 quid. So if you want it for a hundred bucks, nice one, just pocket myself. I don't know, something like 50 bucks worth of profit there, man. 50 quid, I mean. What the hell are you confused me with this American currency now? So yeah. That's what I do. I would sell it and I'd just go buy another one. If you want this hat for a hundred bucks, mate, you can definitely have it. Who would actually like to, for me to make a little shop? I probably don't have enough subscribers, but if I made a shop and just sold like Mr. Flying PhD hat, Mr. Flying PhD t-shirts with like sort your fucking life out, slogans on, and slogans? Logos or slogans, mate. Make up your fucking mind. Anyway, one of those on it. What do you think? <laughs> that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Maybe when I've got like more subscribers. Right now, I'd probably sell, like, a badge every six months or something. But anyway, thanks for the question. Evan Williams asks, if Suarez was offered to United for free in the summer transfer window, would you take him, bearing in mind that every situation? Not realistic at all, but we'll be interested to see what you say. Right, nice one. Thanks for the question. Yes, I would take him for free. I'd make sure he got a good old whip in, in training, and then I'd sell him for £50 million to Arsenal because he's a scumbag. But he is a good player.
Other JJ1 asks, if Vinich and company got in a fist fight, who will win and why? Well, company's a big old unit, mate. He's a big old unit. Vin Nemanja's just got that Serbian, like, hardness. He's bloody hard. You can just tell he's hard, you know? His family probably grew up eating nails, for Christ's sake. So, he's, uh, he's proper hard. Uh, I reckon, I reckon, no, I reckon Vinich would batter him, mate. I remember when Joey Barton got sent off you know, which cost us a freaking title that time. And, uh, you know, went up to bloody go nut company. Company shat himself, mate. <laughs> you know, company's a big lad, but I reckon Vinich. Now, nah, Vinich has probably got some, like, ninjutsu shit going on. I reckon be, if Vinich wasn't a footballer, he'd be a bloody MMA fighter in the UFC or something. So that's my personal opinion. Um, but you'll probably disagree with me because company's, like, twice his size. But Vinich is a monster, mate. He's like a Serbian freaking monster. He's like the Serbinator. Oh, yeah. So that was my Q&A video. I hope you enjoyed it. And sorry if I didn't get to answer your question if you sent one in last week. I can't answer everybody's questions, but I will try and answer your question next time if you comment below using the hashtag AskThePig or write Q&A at the start, and I'll try and use that for the next question. Um, or you can tweet me at MrFlyingPigHD using the hashtag, hashtag AskThePig. And I'll get that, and I'll be able to use that in my next video, and hopefully I'll answer your question. But to everybody who interacts with my videos and comments below and asks me questions for these Q&A videos, I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy watching it. Please like, subscribe, comment, and take it easy.